Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new Clash Royale episode. So we are going to be continuing our Zero to Hero challenge right now inside of this video. We are literally going to use this very simple Hog Rider Giant Battle Deck, and we're going to steamroll as many victories as we can inside of this episode. We're going to go for maybe two or 300 trophies in 15 to 20 minutes, guys. It's going to be very quick, and we're going to go for that three crown as fast as we can. So if you are new to the channel, my name is General Tony, and what we're basically going to be doing over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to allow you guys to choose the episodes that you want to see. So this is how it's going to work. All you need to do, go down below into that comment section and comment hashtag, and then let me know one card. Which one card do you want me to make an entire episode about? What one card would you like to see the best decks for? So for example... If you want to see a baby dragon deck, then comment hashtag baby dragon deck. If you want to see a prince deck, then comment hashtag prince deck. If you want to see the almighty sparky deck, then comment hashtag sparky. Guys, literally go down below in that comment section, take five seconds out of your time, and comment the card, hashtag the card, that you want me to use. So this is the current deck we are about to use. We've got the Hog Rider, the Giant, the Melee Goblins. We've got the Spear Goblins, the Archers, the Arrows, Barbarians, and Minions. The reason why we're using this is quite simply it's available to nearly every single one of you. And it's a great deck to use from, uh, from Arena 4 all the way up into the Legendary Arena, which is exactly where we're going. So don't forget, guys, this is the final chance. The giveaway is going to end tomorrow. So if you want the chance to win that Mountain of Gems, 14,000 gems, $99.99, all you have to do is leave a like right now on this episode to show some support to the channel subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways the winners and of course the videos guys and hit that link in the description box hit the raffle link and of course hit enter and then you will have a chance to win yourself those gems so here we go let's get ourselves into the arena five as i said we're going to try and steamroll as many of these uh these opponents as we can so here we go the apex predator we're actually going to kick it off with a royal giant sorry the giant not the royal giant the giant right at the back there. Build a little bit of elixir. As soon as he hits the bridge, we're going to go with a full scale attack. So he's actually got some minions coming in on the uh, the left hand side with a hog rider, which is cool. We're going to take them out. Now, of course, we are a higher level. So the, uh, the likelihood is that we're going to completely run this guy over. So here we go. The level 7 hog rider is about to go in as well. Now he's just dropped in some melee goblins. And we're actually going to wait for the arrow card. Be a little bit patient. And then we go. The arrow card's going to go down. And it's going to take other minions as well. And there it is, guys. That tower's gone down in seconds. We're going to drop the melee goblins just behind. And it looks like we could actually take out the crown tower straight away. Is this going to be a very quick three crown victory, guys? It looks possible. Here we go. The melee goblins have arrived on the tower. The giant is doing mass amounts of damage. We've already got it down to 794 hit points. And we also took out the baby dragon. So we're going to go in with a giant, guys. Let's just see if we can finish off this guy's tower. He's going to have to defend against that. We're going to drop in the archers just behind. For anyone that doesn't know, I do always say the archers are usually better than the princess. Archers are just so damn great inside of the game. There it is, guys. The giant takes down the three crown. Once again, it was about a minute inside of the raid. And we have won ourselves. How many trophies did we get? We got 30 trophies, so not bad. As I said, we are literally going to go straight into a second attack. Don't forget to go down below in that comment section and comment hashtag and then let me know the card you want me to uh, make an entire episode about. So here we go. Hog Rider, Melee Goblins, and of course the uh, the Archers just behind. He's dropped in. Was he dropped in? A Minion Horde. So he's gone in with a Minion Horde and the Barbarians. Damn. Little bit of a defense there. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's, uh, he's done a good job there. Done a decent job. So let's just arrow those cards. Let's just get rid of them. One Barbarian left. Not going to be too much of a problem. Is he going to get a shot off? No, not at all. So we got uh, we got about four 500 hit points damage done to that tower on the right-hand side. So if you take a look, guys, you can see the next card is going to be the Hog Rider. So we're actually going to drop the Giant at the back once again. The, the, uh, the plan with this kind of deck is drop in the Giant at the back. Once the Giant hits the bridge, push with the Hog Rider and maybe some form of uh, some form of minions or, uh, or Spear Goblins. Anything like that is going to do a great amount of damage. So here we go. Going to see if we can take out that, that Wizard there using some barbarians and it looks like we should actually do a great push here so here we go now we're going to keep the arrow cards because i know he's going to have some minions guys we want to take out the uh that valkyrie there we know he's got minions is he going to drop in the minions let's just hold back on those arrow cards nope nothing's come in so here we go we're going to drop in our minions and our spear goblins there's his minions minions have just arrived but we've taken out his valkyrie our minions will also take out his minions and can we get a shot off onto the tower there goes the spear goblins one two two shots off and we get the crown tower down to 2500 so this battle's taken a little bit longer than expected guys but do not worry the three crown will be coming up very very soon so we've got the uh, the giant let's chop in the giant at the back this is going to be the final push this should take down the tower so we've got the giant going in on the uh 
The left. Oh, oh, cheeky. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to have to defend this push here, guys. We are definitely going to have to take out this giant. It looks like we won't be losing the tower. I know that for a fact, guys. There's no way we're losing that tower. We're going to drop in the, uh, the, the melee goblins and the minions to protect my royal... Sorry, to protect my giant there. We got the giant making his way through, and then there goes the hog rider giant combo, and it looks like that tower is going to go down. Dropping the archers just behind for some uh, some archer support. Gonna take out those uh, those minions there. Minions doing some damage, but there go the arrows, guys, and it looks like it is game over. There we go, the three crown once again using the very simple hog rider giant deck. So we won ourselves another 35 trophies. Not bad, not bad. You know what? Let's switch it up a little bit, guys. Let's make this a little bit more fun. So let's bring in Sparky. Let's drop out. What should we drop out? Let's drop out the Barbarian. So it's going to be Giant. It's going to be Sparky. And it's going to be Hog Riders. This is going to be one epic attack. Here we go. Back inside of the Spell Valley. We are going up against DUI. Let's see what sort of damage we can do to this guy. So straight away, Hog Rider, Melee Goblins, Archers. A great start. It's going to be able to take out those minions. And we may get one or two shots off with a Hog Rider. One shot. Not too bad, to be honest with you. Those Barbarians obviously defended pretty well. So we're going to take down the second Barbarian with the Archers. Do a little bit of damage to the other ones. And we're just going to save up our Elixir here. Actually, we're going to have to arrow those minions there. So there we go. Minions go down. Barbarian goes down. And now we can start this push with a giant at the back. Let's go for the left tower this time. We're going to attack the left tower to see if we can maybe distract him a little bit. So as I was saying, guys, this is the final chance to have a chance to win 14,000 gems. We are going to win that tomorrow. And if you want to win, all you need to do is leave a like right now on this episode. And of course, subscribe to the channel to enter. So here we go. It's going to be the Hog Rider going straight for that uh, that bomb tower in the center. They're going to try and take it out. Here we go. Oh, he just, he just threw a fireball. That was strange. That is definitely one of the worst things that he could have done. So he's fireballed my giant for some reason. That tower on the left-hand side is going to go down so quickly with those uh, supporting units there. And now we can also drop in Sparky, guys. Sparky hopefully going to get maybe one or two shots off. Here we go. The Barbarians are going to get it from Sparky. Here we go. Can we get out two of them? Can we take out two? Oh, we took out three of them. Not bad. Going to drop in those giants. Sorry, those, uh, those goblins to try and kill that... Uh, Barbarian there. Here we go. I knew he was going to drop in minions. I knew minions were going to come. Come on, Sparky. Get a shot off. No. So close. Sparky was so damn close. So we are about to go into overtime in a few seconds time. So I think it's time to get a move on here. Here we go. Let's uh, let's save the giant. Let's drop the giant just here in front of the tower. Build up a little bit more elixir. Then once we start to cross the bridge, we can think about sending in some uh, some sort of troop combo. So here we go. We've got the, uh, we've got the hog rider ready. We have the minions also. We're going to drop in the minions in a second's time. There we go. Minions inside as well. Now we're going to keep the arrow cards because I know he is going to have some minions ready. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he's only dropped down three minions, which is okay. We're not going to use the arrow card just yet. We do want a three crown victory here. Not doing too good. We're going to allow the hog rider on the right hand side there. And we're actually going to spam. Just spam in some cards. Now let's just see if we can do some damage. Hopefully Sparky can take out the... Uh, here we go. Can Sparky take out that bomb tower? Bomb tower is going to go down. Let's drop in the arrows. The arrows. We need the arrows to arrive quickly. Come on, arrows. There we go. Sparky gets the three crown, guys. And we are going to move on to the next attack. So that is three, three crowns in a row. Not too bad. That's going to take us to another 30 trophies. And we've just got a crown chest. So let's see what's inside of here. What have we got? we got some gems, wizards, barbarians, and a tombstone, and some minions. Not bad. Let's unlock one of these, guys. Actually, let's just open every single one of these. Let's open all these silver chests. What we get inside of here? Hog Rider, not bad, not bad. Let's see what's inside of this one. Got some Barbarians. What's inside of this one here? Here we go, here we go. We got some uh, a Musketeer. And then inside of this one right here, let's open up, guys. And we got some uh, a Mini Pekka, so not bad. Back inside of the, uh, the Spell Valley, we're making our way towards that 2,000 trophy mark. Naldo 2 is about to get it. What cards have we got? We've got the, uh, the worst starting deck I've seen for quite some time. So let's go with the archers right at the back there. They're going to move their way towards the, uh, the bridge. And of course, try and get that tower down on the right hand side. So it's going to be a very quick attack here. Check this out, guys. It's going to be the giant and straight in with the hog rider on the right hand side. We're going to kind of forget about the, uh, the elixir collector in the center. That doesn't really matter. The giant's going to tank here. The, uh, the Barbarians are distracted by the other troops. The Giant and the Hog Rider are going to get quite a few shots off. And in fact, we could take down this tower pretty quickly. Have we got it? Yes, we have. Tower goes down instantly, guys. Check it out. The Barbarian. Sorry, the Hog Rider also takes out the Elixir Collector. So a great start. And now we're going to drop in this level 1 Sparky. And that uh, that that Giant's going to be going to be complete history. Check it out. Sparky is going to take out that Giant pretty quickly. He's got the Barbarians coming in. Let's see if we can take out these... Uh, 
These barbarians here try and save our Sparky. Can Sparky get a shot off onto the Hulk Rider? Yes, he can. Sparky takes out the Hulk and he's still alive. Okay, so we've got a Sparky push coming in on the, uh, the right-hand side there. Let's send in the Giant into the center. Giant's going to go straight for that left-hand side tower, but Sparky is still there. And he's going to want to take out that Sparky before he gets a shot off onto the tower. Is Sparky going to get a shot off? It looks like he is. Here we go. Sparky does a shot to the crown tower. Takes it down to 2,400 hit points. So it's about that time of the day again, guys. We're going to go in with the uh, the Sparky again. Let's do this. Sparky goes in. His little, uh, his little bomber there just got annihilated by my uh, my tower. He's taken my tower down quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, wow. Okay, so he's done a great job there. This level 8, obviously, is only one level below me. But yeah, he's done a decent job there. Let's go in with the Hog Rider, though. Here we go, guys. Sparky's not going to get distracted by that dragon. And he's actually going to take out that Musketeer in a second. Wow. Okay, here we go. Sparky should cover that second tower there. There it goes. And, of course, the Giant's going to go directly now for that Crown Tower with the Goblin to support. Sparky takes out the Barbarians. That was a complete waste of Barbarians there. He's got the Bombers going in. Bombers just annihilated my, uh, what was that? What did I drop in there? My Goblins there. The Giant gets some damage done though, but the Archers are supporting and it looks like the Giant Archer combo has done a great job, guys. And there comes the fourth three crown in a row. Slowly pushing our way back up into that legendary arena. So we secured another 35 trophies, guys, and we are going to go in. Should we do one final attack? Let's just open this, guys. What's going to be inside of here? What's going to be inside of here? 48 gems to open this chest. Didn't get anything decent. Barbarians. It was okay. It was okay. So we are going to actually end the episode here, guys, because I do have a second one coming in a few hours' time. So don't forget, if you want to win that mountain of gems, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to have a chance to win. Go down below in that comment section and comment a hashtag and let me know which one of these cards you want me to make an entire episode about. Which one of these cards do you want to see some awesome decks for? So I will see you very shortly, guys. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.